Okay, first of all, mark it. but give me my supplies. Thank you. Um, fuck. You're really worried about her, aren't you? What? Oh, Juno. Worry doesn't begin to describe it. If she doesn't find us here, or something has happened to her. Are you sure what you saw was real? It could have been a dream, or I don't know. You were pretty exhausted. I... I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure anymore. Everything is a blur. Uh, don't tell the others I said that. I have to hope it wasn't just a dream. What's it like to be a mender? Being a mender? I guess I never really thought about it like that. It's just part of me. They knew very young that I would join the order. Born into it, you could say. My mother and father, both menders. The guild is for lots of people now. Builders and healers. Do they all put lightning out of the sky? Pull lightning. No, no, that's not normal. It's one of the reasons I know Juno. She's one of the council. She helps me control things like this. So we don't end up scaring people. How exactly does weaving work, anyway? Well, the hardest part is usually seeing the threads. Everything is part of the tapestry. It's made of threads woven together. You, you can see the threads, you can manipulate them. I don't know how to explain it really. It's like trying to play a harp with invisible strings. Look at my staff, for example. Some menders carve intricate patterns in the wood to help them remember the shapes of... Like I said, it's hard to explain. Why is Bellower still following us? I saw Grofheim as it burned. Avon gets a faraway look in his eyes. The sunder blew through it like a tempest. The varl fell in the thousands. Most of the sunder left the city and headed south. Who knows where they are now? They might be destroying every town they came to, come to, or heading toward Arboron. Bellower stayed in Grafheim just for the sport of it, I think. As we fled to Einertoft, I thought he must want to wipe the Varl off the map completely, but then he came after us. Maybe who knew Ivor was the one who killed Rays? Maybe, but I... Let's just make sure he doesn't catch up. Do you think this is the end times? I... I don't know what to think. I wish I could give you a better answer. Even if we escape the dredge, that serpent said a darkness was covering the world. I don't know how long that will take, or what it means, even. I'm just trying to solve one problem at a time. The Menders are in Arboron. If we can find ships and make it to the capital, we might have a chance. I won't take any more time. No, it's okay, Rook. I appreciate the talk. It's good to stay grounded. I spend all day worrying about serpents or sunder. I think a lot of people are intimidated or scared, maybe, of me. Don't worry, it's nothing new. I'm used to it. Maybe sometime we can talk about things that don't include the world ending. Hmm. Okay, now rest. A scuffle has broken out in front of the houses. A thief shouts one of your people as a group of strangers flee from your camp. Oddleaf is already running in their direction. They took our supplies, you hear from nearby. Chase the thieves. Come on, you shout, and several join you in the chase. You wander into a beach where some men have been waiting for you. Some terse words are exchanged about whether anything had been stolen or not. You don't see who draws the first weapon, but it ends the conversation dead. Damn it. Can't keep losing supplies like this. Ugh. Frustrating. Oh, that's a lot of archers. Okay. Alright. If we want to play things this way. You there. You there. You. There. You. Dare. You. Dare. Ready. having these archers. I have 
deal with this guy first, I guess. guys are nothing. We got this. You can go ahead and finish him off. Alright. Ooh, we got some people here. In a... Let's see how close I can get. Ivor's gonna make it through right here. Yeah, Ivor's about done. Okay, everyone else is pretty much full health, except for. Oh, that's not even our first one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't know it jumped that many times. Holy crap. This is over. <laughs> Aven, that was just... That was insane. <laughs> he just earned himself like four kills in one shot. just continues to jump diagonally. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's not in a straight line either. It just wow. The see the thieves scatter pretty quickly when you start laying into them, but when you return to the caravan you discover why. Even more supplies and goodness. God damn it. You're kidding me. Son of a bitch. Gimme. Okay. I've got 10 days worth at least. 
A random assortment of people come from the caravan confront you. Listen, says one. We don't feel safe here. I don't know anything about the menders or whatever, but we're going to leave and I hope you'll join us. Looks like a couple dozen people, farmers and fighters alike, feel the same way. Yep, let's go ahead and leave. You agree that it's time to go. Evan casts his eyes upon the ground, but doesn't protest. The caravan packs up and prepares to leave. We've got other problems, says Ivor. The whole place is flooded. We could try to walk up the muddy parts, but it'll be slow going. We could try to float the caravan over the lake, but we might tip or get stuck. Or we could just go around the whole thing, but no idea how long that'll take. What do you think? Hmm. Let's ford the river. You pack everything up and take as much weight off the wagons as you can. Soon you're walking through ankle-deep water and thick mud, hoping that the rest of the caravan can hold out. The footing is sticky and slow, but the water isn't too deep outside the town. It takes a while, but you manage to cross the enormous mud pit outside of Sigurholm with an intact, if not if not cranky, caravan of people. Okay, now I can rest and get my morale back up. Good. Camp. Doobly doo -do -boo, boo Uh, rest. 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 Okay. Leave. So we got four days worth of supplies, but I had to get morale back up a little bit. Oh, three days apparently, because we were right there at a day. Probably rested one too many days. Move faster. <laughs> God. A woman's stifled screams failed to overly concern anyone. It was only a matter of time before the expected mother gave birth. The caravan is simply excited by this first sign of new life since the trip began. Congratulate them privately. While the caravan cheers the baby's birth, you suggest offering the family a bit more food over the next few weeks. The clansman quietly arranges a supply wagon at the flap of the family's tent to surprise them when they next come out. Hold on. 